Hi guys, it's me, Jula1234 Forever, today with Nikki with a craft video, a Valentine's craft video. I have been wanting to make this video for a while now, so let's get into it. But before we do, I just wanted to explain my absence for this week. Um, technically I've had some issues offline, um, you know, and I just had to sort those out, but I'm back now, and next week I'll be doing, every day I'll try to do Valentine's Day craft, which I will be looking forward to be doing. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers, so good for that, and, um, yeah, I'm really sorry for my absence, I did explain it on Google+, Plus, but like I said, um, in previous videos, I know not all of you are subscribed to my Google+, Plus, so just thought I'd explain Right, so as you can see by title of today's video, we're going to be making the pizza is my Valentine's Day um, shirt. So what you're going to need for this is a printout. Let me just get rid of the lighting a minute. Pizza is my Valentine's, okay? So it just says like love heart and pizza is my Valentine's and letters. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Sorry, my camera's not the best at focusing. Right. There we go. And you're also going to want to need something like a jumper or a cardigan that you can turn back to front. This is going to be your top. So I'm choosing this one. It's the Our Generation Country Classic Cardigan, but I always use it as the top. And you're going to want your doll to measure. So I'm using Nikki. You're going to want uh, pens, pencils and crayons. So you're just going to want crayons and stuff. Scissors and tape. Oh, clear tape would be advised. Right, so let me just move around here so I can do today's video. Right, so, first of all, you're going to need your printout. Now, I could put this on my blogger and leave a link in the description, or you guys can make it yourselves. So, let's just... Uh, so it's just pieces of my Valentine's in like lettering and love heart. Okay, and all you're going to want to do for this bit, you're going to want to grab your trusty scissors. And you're just going to want to cut off any excess bit of paper for your first bit. And I'm just using these plastic scissors because I couldn't find the normal ones, okay? So, don't judge. And I'm just going to cut it out. It's not the neatest cutting, but... Uh, that's okay. So now I'm just going to put that there. Now I'm going to colour in my pizza. You guys can colour in your pizza however you want. You can um, have marguerite pizza. You can have a Hawaiian pizza. But I'm going to have a pepperoni pizza because that is more realistic to what it actually looks like on the picture. It's pepperoni pizza. But because this is a craft for your 18 inch doll, you can have any kind of colour you want. So for the base, I'm just using this orange, and I'm using a uh, yellow. This is only to give it like a cheesy kind of look to it. Okay. Now I'm just going to choose a nice red. And I'm just going to draw some circles. All over. For my pepperoni. Pepperoni, pepperoni, however you guys say it. And then I'm also going to go that extra mile. I'm going to use some green because we want this to look really good. And these can be peppers. And all I'm doing is I'm just doing... Oopsie. I'm just going to... Um, draw some pepper. This is to make your love heart pizza. So then you're going to want to cut it out. So you're going to want to try and cut it as close as to the line as possible. Okay, because this is meant to be a pizza for your doll. If you want, you can actually print off the uh, image on the internet. But because I would prefer to be a bit more creative with my crafts, no offence to you, but the people who aren't has, but um, I, I'm i more creative and I just wanted to make this if you guys didn't have coloured ink or if you didn't know how to print it off or you wouldn't know what to do. So now I've cut out my pizza. So now you're going to want to grab your cardigan or jumper that your doll has. 
So this is why I said you can use a card because I know not many people um, have jumpers for your dolls. So now you can put it there. Now the reason why I said you can use tape instead of flat ironing get on is because um, when you flat iron it's permanent and I really like this doll cardigan so I didn't want to make it permanent if you guys know what I'm on about. So next I'm going to want to grab my clear tape and like I said this is reason why so you can't actually see the tape and you're going to want to put the tape over your doll's sweater and you're just going to want to I can't see what I'm doing. Oopsie. I am so terrible at making craft videos. No, my will come. Oh, no, I didn't cut the sweater. Right here. And you're going to want to just you're going to want to put tape wherever you can. If I'm honest with you. This is just to hold it down and give it a firmer look and yeah. Trust me, it's going to look much better when it's actually on your doll, plus the lighting isn't making it any better. Yeah, tape's gone for a run. Have I just lost the end of the tape? I have. I'm probably going to have to go soon so I can just uh, find the end of the tape because and the end of tape is really hard but let's not get into my life story of tape so now you're going to want to cut any access off okay because if there's too much on there it's going to look a tiny bit silly so i don't put i haven't put too much tape on here so don't put too much on so if you put too much on you're going to be able to see it and i'm just trying to cut off the tape so that you can't see it. So now as you can see the net goes pretty far up so I should have enough for the lettering. So the hardest bit is the lettering. Now if you guys like me you're going to want this to look actually really professional. And you're going to want it to look good and you're going to want it to look cool and stuff. So you're going to have to make sure that you can't see too much of the lettering. And I was thinking, well, we want it to be unique, don't we? We don't want it to look exactly the same. And it, you want it to look good, don't you? So you're going to just want to cut the bit off, but don't cut it so it's individually. And then try and cut in some kind of pattern. Like, I'm not just cutting straight of cutting, kind of like a, not wonky, but like a different shape. Try and cut differently. Because, you know, it would be really hard for it to look exactly the same. And then you can tilt the words to the side. Pizza. You can even cut them in little love hearts if you wanted. I don't know, whatever comes into your mind is... My... And then I'm going to put Valentine's on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to fit. It will because the tape's taken up most of the room. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Pizza is my Valentine's. So now I'm just going to use some tape. I'm using some tape from last time. Or is that? It's a bit dirty now. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to try and find the end of the tape. If I can't find it on camera, I'll just stop the video for a minute. Try and find it and I'll come back. This is why I don't like tape. And I didn't want it permanent. Okay, I can't find the end of the tape. I'll be back in one moment. Okay, after a few minutes, I found the end of the tape. So now you're just going to want to plaster on your letters. And you're just going to want to tape it up. And like I said, this is removable. 
Do you know what's also really good is that you'll actually remove some of the excess fluff when you take the tape off after Valentine's Day. You know, the fluff. Because you get like excess fluff and stuff, my you know, one that gets on their sweaters. But you know, and yeah, you'll get rid of that as well, so win win. And you get to make this awesome Valentine's. I didn't know how this was going to work out, so I'm actually really proud of myself. I know that sounds sad, but I'm actually really proud of myself because I had no idea how this was going to turn out, and it turned out really well for my first time. <laughs> I just needed a bit more tape for the end. That bit's gonna have to do. And you are done. Right, so next, if you're using a sweater like I have, uh, you're going to want to use a bobby pin to secure the back. So let's zoom out. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Here's Nikki, who I just recurled her hair last night. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, comment down below. It was actually really effective. So let's do this. I'm just going to put the sweater on her. I use this as a sweater all the time. You may have seen in my videos I've used this as a sweater. It's actually a cardigan. I don't know how it's going to turn out, if it's going to turn out good, if it's going to turn out bad. Oh, there we go. I always put this on slowly. I just need my bobby pin to secure it. have a look okay it's not that bad let me just do something a second to make my life and the doll's life a lot easier i'm just doing something for two seconds people it's fiddly okay it's fiddly it's not something that I like doing, if you people knew me in real life you would know that doing, using and cutting very fine things and doing fine things, it's not my strong point. So this is why this has been my 10 minute video, has it been longer than that? Yeah it's been about 10-15 minute video and I might look. But I hope I haven't bored you guys too long, sorry if I have. Right here she is. Let me just get rid of this light. Pizza is my Valentine. It is so cute. It really actually suits this outfit. And this will be in my other video that I'll be doing for Valentine's Day is what my doll's wearing for Valentine's Day. And can I just tell you, this will definitely be one of the things. It is so cute. I would recommend putting more tape on, but I don't know, you can use blue tack if you wanted, but I couldn't find any blue tack. I don't think we even have any. And it looks so amazing, guys. And you could keep this all year round if you wanted to, but I'm not going to, okay? It is so beautiful. And in case I get anybody asking in the comments, I'm just going to quickly show you Nikki's hair. Doesn't her hair look so beautiful? I pin curled it and I put coconut oil in it and stuff and it made her hair look really beautiful. And yeah, I can't believe how well it turned out. I thought it was going to be a catastrophe but it actually didn't look that bad. I mean, you can see because of the glare on the camera you can obviously see the tape. But if there wasn't any glare, that actually, in reality, it looks really good. And I'm proud of myself, really. You could have ironed it on. If wanted to, but because I don't want this to be a permanent thing. Let's see where I'm coming from. Look out for videos. This, oh, cut a bit, did I? I'll have to cut that off in a minute. Or is that from the skirt? I think it's from the skirt, actually. 
so yeah pretty much guys i hope you enjoyed this video tune in tomorrow for shout out saturday and then on sunday i am so sorry i didn't do its 50s thing i am like gen genuinely really sorry i know some people are actually looking forward to that but i had um something come up so i couldn't do it but i will hopefully be able to do it this weekend shout out saturday or po but saturday i might be changing it too will be uploaded tomorrow and i just wanted to do this video with my beautiful doll nikki and yes thank you again guys for watching this video and yeah see you soon and i hope we get 100 subscribers because we'll be doing a music video flat so if you if there's any valentine's day videos that you want me to do or do a craft video or a hairstyles video i want my dolls wearing for video or decorated and jar room video there's a comment section there and yeah i have nothing else to say to you wonderful people but i can't talk all evening let's get this video uploaded bye for now bye people Ooh, fail